गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी जस्ट हैड ए डिस्कशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू ऑलजिब्रा so we understood how the questions of algebra are given and how can we tackle the questions which are related to algebra so today we'll have a discussion which is related to modern math modern math is basically going to have three individual chapters those are nothing but permutations combinations and probability so permutations and combinations are the two individual chapters which are going to helpful in solving the questions of probability so prob in order to solve the questions of probability student must aware of the concepts of permutations and as well as the concepts of combination then they can comfortably solve the questions which are related to probability okay so let's start with the discussion of the questions which are related to permutations so before we are proceeding with the questions which are related to permutations let's start with a basic intro so basically what is meant by permutation if you observe permutation is all about arrangement of elements permutations is all about arrangement of elements so permutation is nothing but it is a arrangement of elements arrangement of elements arrangement of elements is called permutation what type of elements which we are going to come across here is so arrangement of elements where the elements are nothing but elements are nothing but so for example we are arranging the letters in a word or we are just arranging the digits in a number or we are just arranging the people in a group people in a group so these are all called under arrangement so these are the questions which we are going to come across so it is just arrangement of elements the elements are nothing but it can be letters in a word or digits in a number or people in a group so these are the basic arrangements which we are going to come across so when we are doing the arrangement for example let's assume i have four students here i have four students here i just want to arrange this four students in a three seated bench in how many ways i can arrange them so if you want to arrange this four students in a three seated bench so the question here is find the number of ways find the number of ways find the number of ways of arranging arranging four students arranging four students in three seated bench so if you observe the first seat can be occupied by any one of these four members this can be done in four ways the second seat can be occupied by any one of the remaining three members that can be done in three ways the third seat can be occupied by any one of the remaining two members that can be done in two ways so the total number of arrangements will be given as 4 times 3 times 2 that's nothing but 24 so we can say in 24 ways we can arrange these people this is one analytical way of solving so in this analytical way what i am trying to understand is the number of ways of arranging these four students in a three seated bench so the first gap is having four ways to fill second gap is having three ways to fill third gap is having two ways to fill 4 into 3 into 2 is giving a result as 24 we can say answer choice is going to be 20 answer choice is going to be 20 or otherwise you can also understand like this so there is a formula approach which we can use so what is a formula approach is whenever you have n elements so if you want to arrange or permute r elements from a group of n elements that can be done in npr ways npr is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial if you observe previously we have four students we want to arrange three students out of them that can be done in 4p3 that means 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 factorial that is 1 factorial so you can say answer choice is 20 24 ways answer choice is going to be 24 ways 
so this is how we can arrange this is how we can arrange so now you can understand one important point so what is the important point is what type of elements we are going to arrange so there are three type of elements which you are going to come across one is we can arrange the distinct elements see for example i have any question arrange the letters in the word abc or we can arrange the elements which are some of the elements are alike that means let's assume you have any word as rearrange the letters in the word as or sometimes you will be having a condition where some of the elements are together so rearrange the elements in the word abc such that such that ab should be together such that ab should be together ab should be together so in how many ways we can arrange you can just observe this you can just observe this in how many ways we can arrange distinct alike and this so we will try to understand one by one so if you want to arrange the letters in the word abc in how many ways we can arrange so one is abc the other one is acb or bac bca cab and cb so total how many ways are there there are six ways to arrange them six ways to arrange the same thing we can also write in the other way so just you can make the gaps and fill the gaps there are six ways to arrange them this is one approach to proceed or otherwise you can just make the gaps and fill the gaps according to the given thing. that means you can just observe abc is having how many there are three letters are there make three gaps the first gap can be filled with any one of the three letters that can be done in three ways the second gap can be filled with any one of the two letters that can be done in two ways the third gap can be filled with any one of the one letter that can be done in three ways three into two into one that is nothing but three factorial that's nothing but six so do remember one important point whenever we are arranging n distinct elements whenever we are arranging n distinct elements the number of number of ways of arranging them will be equal to n factor so if you as observe some of the letters are alike for example aac is there in how many ways we can arrange aac is one aca is one caa is one so how many ways are there there are three ways to arrange them. three ways to arrange them if i want to go with the formula approach you can just use so a a c how many are there three letters are there so as usually as per the previous you can take three factorial but two letters are alike that we counted extra because a a two letters if you rewrite as a a and a a it will be only one way okay so that's the reason whatever i am counting extra that i am taking the denominator 3 factorial by 2 factorial that will use 3 so it has a point whenever you see n elements out of the n elements if p elements and q elements are alike then the number of ways of arranging will be n factorial divided by p factorial into q factorial similarly rearrange the letters in the word a b c such that a b is together a b is together so whenever you come across with any condition of together so treat that as one unit so a b is together means you can take a b as one unit so now you can observe two elements are there two elements can be arranged in two factorial but whatever the elements which are available in the unit you can rearrange them again that is going to be four ways to arrange this manually if you observe manually you can solve it as like this what is a manual calculation so a b is together a b c is one and c a b is one but a b is together is a condition you can rearrange them again b a c or b c b a so this also a possible way because it is not following a b is together is a condition but not condition that a and b should be in this pattern it can be a b or b a in both the cases a b is together so answer the s will be four so these are the different individual conditions which you are going to come across so i suggest you to solve all the questions of permutation by using one standard way of approach 
what is the standard way of approach which we can use is the standard way of approach is so do remember the point which i have told you alike and all so standard way of approach is as soon as you read the condition so for example rearrange the letters in the word hurry or for example form a four digit number or five form a five character password so as soon as we read the condition we'll understand how many gaps are there so after reading the condition please make the gaps make the gaps so once you make the gaps make the gaps that's the first instruction after making the gaps fill the gaps make the gaps and fill the gaps so after filling the gaps with the number of possibilities multiply all that will give the answer multiply all that will give the answer so remember this point for example if you have any question as rearrange the letters in the word hurry first observe how many letters are there there are four letters so first step is trying to tell us make the gaps make four gaps so then fill the gaps so filling the gaps is nothing but first h so uh, first gap can be filled with any one of these letters either with h or a or r or i so how many ways are there four ways to fill the first gap second gap we already filled one letter left with three letters second gap can be filled with three ways third gap in two ways we have been one way so the total number of possibilities will be equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that's nothing 24 if we can say answer choice is 24 ways to arrange them answer choice is 4 24 ways to arrange them. so not only this whatever the question is there we can just use the condition of making the gaps and filling the gaps and multiply all so that you can feel very comfortable in solving the question so this is the basic prerequisite which is required in solving the question let's start the questions which are related to permutation we'll understand model wise questions and there you will learn some new concepts in solving that question so look at the first question which is available on the screen under model one just read the condition here a room just wait so just observe the question carefully read the question try to tell me that
if you observe the data carefully a room has five doors a room is having five doors so just observe let's assume this is a room so which is having five doors let's assume these are the five doors as per the information in how many ways a man can enter into the room through one door and come out through different door so that means here the condition is a man should enter and he should exit so remember one important point whenever you come across with any condition of and in permutation permutation combination and probability do remember this and can be replaced with multiplication whenever you come across with any condition of r r can be replaced with addition so here the condition is man should enter into the room and he should exit so as per the data he said that a room is having five doors in how many ways a man can enter into the room through one door and he should come out from the room in the other door so enter is having how many possibilities man can enter through any one of these five doors so number of possibilities will be equal to five and he should exit through a different through a different door means so exit is having so for example he is entering from this he should not exit from this so exit is having four ways and indicates multiplication so 5 into 4 there are 20 ways to 20 ways to finish this task mark your answer choice as going to be option d mark your answer choice as going to be option d look at the next question available on the screen among 20 teachers in a college one principal and one vice principal and teacher in charge are to be appointed in how many ways we can do that so among 20 20 teachers are there so we have to take one principal one vice principal one teacher in charge we have to take so out of the 20 members how many members can be chosen as a principal so out of the 20 members any one of the candidate can be taken as a principal that can be done in 20 ways and and indicates multiplication now because one person is already chosen as a principal so we have to choose the other candidate for vice principal other candidate for vice principal so that means there are 19 chances for selecting a vice principal so already two candidates are selected left over is 18 so one of the 18 candidates should be taken as a teacher so the total number of possibilities will be 20 into 19 into 18 this you can further simplify and mark your answer simplify further you will be able to see the answer choice as 6840 mark it as an so we can just observe 18 times 19 Seven nine into eight is seventy-two. Nine plus eight is giving a result as seventeen. One into one is one. Two. This is going to be twenty-four. And send this as carry. That is going to be three hundred and forty. Into twenty, if you do six hundred and eighty-four, add one more zero. Mark your answer as option C. Look at the next question available on this. There are eight books. of mathematics so eight books of mathematics are there and five books of physics are there five books of physics are there in how many ways a student can buy a mathematic book and a physics book so the first answer we can solve as like this so a mathematic book and a physics book so how many mathematic books are there eight books are there you have to choose one out of the eight in how many ways you can do eight how many physics books are there five physics books are there you have to choose one out of the five that can be done in five ways so 8 and 5 8 into 5 that's going to be 40 so in 40 ways we can perform this task so then the second task we have to choose in how many ways a can student can choose either a math book or a physics book that means whatever the book you are choosing it can be math or physics 
how many math books are there? Eight. Choosing one out of eight is possible in eight minutes. Choosing one out of five is possible in five minutes. Eight or five. Eight plus five. That's going to be thirteen. You can say answer to X is thirteen ways. So the first question answer is forty. Second question answer is thirteen. You can mark the answer choice as going to be option A. Look at the next model question. So in the first model question, what you have to remember is. Whenever you come across with any conditions of and and or, and can be replaced with multiplication, or can be replaced with addition. Let's have a glance on second model question. So, question which is projected is how many four-letter words can be formed using D E F G H? How many four-letter words can be formed by using the letters D E F G H? So. <clears throat> repetition is not allowed. Repetition is allowed. So four letter words can be formed using this. Repetition is not allowed. Repetition is not allowed means so once you take any letter that we should not take it again. So there are four letters available. Repetition is not allowed. So how many letters are there in the sample space D E F G H? There are five letters. The first gap can be filled with any one of these five letters because repetition is not allowed. So, because we fixed one letter out of this five in the first place, we can choose any one of the remaining four letters for the second gap, then remaining three letters for the third gap, then remaining two letters for the fourth gap. So, the total number of possibilities five into four is a twenty, three into two is a six. The final answer choice will be equal to 120. You can mark it as going to be this. So let's assume if the question is based on repetition is allowed. So there is a four-letter word. So you can fix any one of this in the first gap. That means the first gap can be filled in five ways. Second gap, because repetition is allowed, second gap can also be filled, filled in five ways. Third gap in five ways, fourth gap in five ways. So the total number of possibilities will be equal to 25 times 25. That is going to be 625. Mark your answer choice as going to be option D. So repetition is allowed. Repetition is not allowed. Look at the next question available on the screen. So formation based questions. So how many numbers of three digits can be formed by using the digits of 135 when no digit is repeated? And how many of them are divisible by five? So, how many three digit numbers basically we can make? First, we'll try to understand. Then, we'll try to go for the exact question how many of them are divisible by five? So, we'll solve this actual question later. First, let me understand how many three digit numbers you can make by using 135 without repetition. So, the first gap can be filled in three ways, second gap in two ways, third gap in one way. So, we can make six numbers. We can make six numbers. So those directly we can say how many of them are divisible by five is the question. So divisible by five means the last digit must be fixed with five or zero. Because in the sample space we have only one, three, five, the last digit must fix with five only. So we left with one comma three and we left with two caps. So two into one and one so the total number of possibilities are going to be two so in two ways we can arrange mark your answer as option c mark your answer as option c i hope the point is clear Look at the next question, which is available on the screen. A letter lock consisting of four rings, each marked with 10 different letters. In how many ways it is possible to make unsuccessful attempts to open the lock? So there are four rings are available. Make four gaps. 
a letter lock consisting of four rings, each marked with 10 different letters. Each marked with 10 different letters. That means this one is marked with 10 different letters. 10 different letters means it can be filled with any one of the 10. The second one is also marked with 10 different letters. Third one is also 10 different letters. Third one is, fourth one is also 10 different letters. Can be any. So here the question is how many ways it is possible to make unsuccessful attempts to open the lock. So total how many locks we can prepare, how many passwords we can prepare. So you can understand sometimes you can able to see this type of locks for uh, the bag. So there are four characters are there, four characters are there. So the first one can be having 10, 10, 10, 10. So total we are going to have 10,000, 10,000 possibilities to create the lock. So out of the 10,000 possibilities, out of the 10,000 possibilities, one is going to be the correct key. Here, how many unsuccessful attempts we have to make? So 10,000 minus one, it is 9,999 is the one successful, unsuccessful attempts, one is a correct attempt. So answer choice for the question is option D. Look at how the modern three questions are given. Modern three questions are given as like this. So how many three, how many ways three different balls, three different balls can be distributed into two boxes. Three different balls can be distributed into two boxes. So that means you can just observe, just observe, there are two boxes which are available and three different balls are there. Three different balls are there. So if you observe the first ball, the first ball, there are two different, uh, there are three balls are there. The first ball we can keep in the first box or second box. That means the first ball. Similarly, the second ball is also having two chances. You can fix it in box one or box two. Third ball is also having two chances. The total number of possibilities are going to be two raised to the power of three. Mark it as option C. Look at the next question. So there are 19 true or false questions are there. The number of ways which they can be answered. So 19 questions are there. It can be true or false. How many ways we can attempt? So 19 questions means I'm just making 19 gaps. The first one you can answer as a true or false. That means how many ways to answer? There are two ways. You can choose either true or false. The second one is also two ways. Third one is also two ways. Like that 19 questions are there. 19 questions are there. So the total number of possibilities will be equal to 2 power 19, which is available as option C. You can mark it as a. Look at the next model question. This is uh, the question which is projected here as like this. Six books, one in different subjects are to be arranged in a shelf. In how many ways this can be done? So we can just understand there are six books are there. So make six gaps like this, six gaps like this. So they are of different subjects and different uh, subjects. How many ways we can arrange them in a shelf? So the first can be taken with any one of the six books. Second one, because we fixed one, the next one can be filled with any one of the five, any one of the four, three, two, one. In how many ways we can arrange them in a shelf is a question. That is six into five into four into three into two into one. That's nothing but 720. So in 720 ways, we can arrange them. Mark their answer choices, option B. Mark your answer choices, option B. Look at the next question which is available. Find the number of five letter words with or without meaning that can be formed the letters using the word Krishna. So we basically need five letter words. 
we basically need five meter Find the number of five letter words with or without meaning that can be formed from the letters of the word Krishna. So if you observe, there are seven letters are available in the word Krishna. Seven letters are available in the word Krishna. out of the seven letters we have to make five letter word so because we only need five letters out of the seven first of all we have to choose five out of seven the choosing concept will come under combination that's by using a concept of ncr ncr so here out of the seven choose any five that can be done in seven c five out of the seven choose any five that can be done in 7C5, 7C5. So after choosing five letters, we have to arrange them. I told you N elements can be arranged in N factorial way. So 7C5 into 5 factorial will indicate the total number of possibilities. Total number of possibilities to arrange. Look at the next question. In how many ways can the letters of the word wrong be arranged so that N is always next to W? N is always next to W. In how many ways can the letters of the word wrong be arranged so that N is always next to W? So N is always next to W means it should be following the pattern as WN in wrong how many letters are there basically wrong is having five letters so there is another three letters are left over so in how many ways the letters of the word wrong will be arranged such that n is always next to w that means this is together w and n is together so treat it as one unit so total how many gaps are can be arranged in four factorial so w n can be arranged in two factorial but as for the data n is always next to w so it should follow only one pattern as wn so four factorial itself is going to be the answer choice mark it as option a mark it as option a okay then next question which is available on the screen in how many ways can be the letters of the word mango is arranged mango is arranged so that a and o are always together so that a and o are always together a and o are together means you can treat this as one unit you can treat this as one unit so you can just observe the left over elements left over elements are going to be m m and g so a and o are always together is a condition so if a and o is together treat it as one unit 1, 2, 3, 4 can be arranged in 4 factorial. AO can be arranged in 2 factorial. The number of ways are going to be 4 factorial into 2 factorial. Mark it as option C.
look at the next question available on the screen. How many words that can be formed by the letters of the word parts when there is no restriction, no letters, no restriction to the letters. So that means if there is no restriction to the letters, if there is no restrictions to the letters, so parts, how many letters are available? Five letters can be arranged in five factorial, mark it as option T. Look at the next question available on the screen. What is the answer choice? Please observe the data carefully. Try to tell me the answer. So the question here is how many words that can be formed using the letters of the word Monday when each letter begins with Y. That means indirectly he said that indirectly he said that the first letter should be Y. It can be done in only one way. So if Y is fixed here, how many are left over? Another five. The second gap can be filled in five ways, four ways, three ways, two ways, and one way. So the total number of possibilities will be equal to. 5 factorial into 1 that is going to be option C, market as answer. Look at the next question available on the screen. How many words that can be formed by using the letters of the word Dhoni? when each word begins with O and ends with N. So Dhoni is having how many letters? Five letters. It need to begin with O and end with N. So it will be done in one way and one way. Remaining three letters can be done in three into two into one. That's nothing but six ways. That's nothing but three factorial market as option D. Look at the next question, which is available on the screen. How many words that can be formed using the letters of the word Thursday when all the vowels come together? Here, vowels are come together. First of all, let me understand what are available in this. What are the vowels which are available in this? What are the vowels which are available in this? So the vowels are nothing but A, E, I, O, U. So vowels are together is a question. So that means U, A is together. If you keep U, A as together, what is the leftover elements? Let me understand. Leftover elements are going to be remaining six. So this 
is one unit and the remaining six total seven units can be arranged in seven factorial two elements can be rearranged in two factorial and such as is seven factorial into two factorial mark it as option d look at the next question available on the screen next question available on the screen how many words that can be formed using the letters of the word mental using the letters of the word mental such that all consonants should come together all consonants should come together so that means what are the consonants a and e so we have to make sure that a and a and e are the words sorry so in mental what are the consonants just try to option in mental consonants are going to be m n t n so four are the consonants he given that consonants are together that means m n t n are together remaining or s so that means e a or s so because he said these are together 1 2 3 the total elements are p three gaps can be arranged in e factorial in the unit we are going to have four elements that can be rearranged in four factorial mark your answer as option c look at the next question which is available on the screen in how many ways we can rearrange the letters of the word banana so if you observe how many letters are there in banana is all those are distinct or alike or together first understand so there is no condition of together they are asking in how many different words can be formed using the letters of the word banana so we can just observe 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 six letters are there you can say 6 factorial but if you observe carefully this 3 a's are alike and 2 n's are alike so 3 a's 3 factorial 2 n's 2 factorial you can take the answer as this like this so 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial. so this and will be this and this will be gets cancel it is going to give a result which is equal to 6 It is equal to six. And just take the answer, which is equal to sixty. Mark the answer. So here sixty is not available. Mark the answer is none of you. Mark the answer is none of you. Six factorial is not the answer. Six factorial divided by three factorial into two factorial. That we have to take because two n's are alike and three a's are alike. Look at the next question, which is available on the screen. how many words that can be formed using the letters of the word father such that vowels are always two what are the vowels which are available in father so vowels are nothing but a e i o u so we are able to see these vowels vowels are together means we can keep the remaining four aside so how many letters are there five letters are there so five factorial and two Letters are there in the gap. Five factorial into two factorial will indicate sir. Vowels are together. Answer for this is five factorial into two factorial. Vowels are never together. Never together means from the total arrangement, together elements you can remove. So total how many is six? So out of this six elements, six factorial is the total number of ways of arranging. Out of them, remove the remove the together. Value so six factorial minus five factorial into two factorial will give you your answer. Mark your answer checks as option D. Look at the next question. Find the number of ways in which six boys and six girls be seated in a row such that all the girls never together. Such that all the girls never together. That means six boys and six girls need to be seated in a row. All the girls never together. so total six boys and six girls six boys and six girls so first arrange them in how many ways we can arrange six boys and six girls so let's assume girls are together so if girls are together all the six girls are together there are six more boys are left over in how many ways we can arrange them we can arrange them six girls treat it as one unit another six total seven factorial and six girls can be arranged in six factorial This is when girls are together. He said when girls are never together. 
total arrangement 6 and 6 12 elements can be arranged in 12 factorial out of that girls are together case i am removing so that never together will get that is nothing but option c mark it as option c so look at the model 5 question how model 5 questions are given is so the letters of the word mother permuted in such a way that in the and given the dictionary of it find the rank of the word mother so first of all you try to understand what is the alphabetical order and dictionary order dictionary order is nothing but first we'll be starting with the letters of a and then b then c so like that that is a dictionary order so if you give the dictionary order after rearranging the letter how many are there mother is having six letters six factorial total we can able to make 720 words from this out of which mother rank is how much is a question after arranging them in a dictionary order mother rank is how much so if you rearrange them what is the rearrangement of this so just rearrange them as per the dictionary order so a b so first we are going to see e next as per the dictionary order it is going to be h next as per the dictionary order it is going to be m next as per the dictionary order it is going to be o next as per the dictionary order it is going to be r next d so this is the dictionary order for the letters which are available let's start with the letter called e so if you start with e if you start with e so how many letters will be over so there is five factorial letters which we can form that is 120 so then go with h so h we can make another five factorial that's also equal to 120 next go with m so m is a word which is required then again start from then again start from here so what is the next one it is going to be e so using me how many letters we can make another four factorial that's nothing but 24 so me is not suitable mo is required so after m let me take as per the dictionary order mh so mh also can be done in four factorial that is also 24 so after mh we can go with mo mo is in pattern so fix o go for the next letter m o and fix it go for the next letter that is m o e so this can be arranged in three factorial that is six after m o e the next one is m o h so h is also not a possible value that also arranged in three factorial that's nothing but six next after m o h we can go with m o r m o r can be arranged in three factorial that is equal to six next after m o r the next one as per the order should be m o t after t fix the t go for e so this can be arranged in two factorial that is two so m o t after e we can go for h again e and r this can be done in one way so this is a total number of possibilities so you can mark the answer by adding all this so 120 plus 120 240 240 plus 30 that is 270 270 plus uh, 30 that is going to be 300 300 plus 9 so the rank of the word mother will be 309 mark it as option d mark it as option d so next model question so this is a circular arrangement so do remember a point whenever n elements you are arranging in a linear that can be done in n factory if n elements are distinct if you are arranging n elements in a circular because we don't have this specific point here so we can do this in n minus one factor if it is a garland garland will look like same in this way or this way that's the reason it is half of the number of arrangements. so here you can observe in how many ways a garland of 30 flowers can be made so 30 minus 1 factorial divided by 2 so the number of possibilities are going to be 29 factorial by 2 for example if the question there are 30 men are there they arranged in a circular row in how many ways we can arrange them is a question so that can be done in that can be done in 29 factorial array because n minus 1 factor so that's how you can see the questions which are related to permutation that's how we can see the questions which are related to permutation 
similarly you can also see the questions which are related to combination first let me understand what is combination and how the questions of combinations are given so let me give you some example which is related to combination so that you can feel comfortable in solving the questions of combinations so permutation is all about arrangement of elements so combinations is all about selection of elements so in the permutation we are going to arrange the elements in the combination combination is nothing but selection of the elements combination is nothing but selection of the elements selection of the elements will come under combination for example you have n elements from a group out of them out of them you want to choose or select r elements that we can that can be done in ncr ways ncr is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial n minus r factorial into r factorial this is ncr part see for example if you have four members if you have four members out of the four members namely a b c d choose any two members is a question choose any two members is a question that means we can take ab or ac or ad or dc or dd or c so how many ways are there there are six ways to six ways to choose two members out of the given but this will take some time that's the reason we will be using a combination concept so out of the four members in a group you want to select or choose two members that can be done in 4c2 directly what is 4c2 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial this will give further as 4 into 3 into 2 divided by 4 that's nothing but 3 into 2 6 ways that's what we are able to get here but this is more analytical approach and this is direct approach by using the formula so do remember whenever you have n distinct elements so out of them if you want to choose r elements from the group of n elements that can be done in ncr ways ncr is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial n minus r factorial into r factorial this is a formula which we can use in order to arrange the elements in order to arrange the elements okay so keep keep it in mind so how the questions can be expected under this so questions can be expected under combination so wherever you come across with any keywords as the selection select or choose or pick or draw or elect all these are indicating that the question is from the concept of combinations so whenever you come across with key, these keywords realize that that question is from the concept of combinations so when you realize that question is from the concept of combination you can use the combination formula of ncr and proceed with the search combination formula of ncr and proceed with the search so let's assume if you have any question as like this if you have any question as like this just for understanding purpose so let's assume in a classroom in a class in a class so there are five boys there are five boys and seven girls are around five boys and seven girls are around select any five members select select any five any five out of the given so in how many ways we can do this if it is select any five members out of this if it is select any five members out of this total how many members are there so five boys and seven girls. total 12 members are available select any five means it is going to be 12 c5 what is 12 c5 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 5 factorial into five. this if you further simplify that will use the answer that means we can say 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial divided by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. This you can further simplify and mark the answer. How I am taking like this is 12 factorial is 12 to 1, 7 factorial is 1 to 7. 1 to 7 I am directly gets cancelling here, remaining part I hope the point is clear. So, 
solvation part you can keep it as so let's take the other condition for example in a class there are five boys and seven girls the question here is select any five select five select five but majority should be boys majority is boys so how to treat or how to solve this question so if majority is boys so there is five boys five boys and seven girls are there boys are five girls are seven so you want to select another five members from it majority should be boys that means out of the five boys you can choose you can choose all the five as boys and zero girls or you can choose four boys and one girl or you can choose three boys and two girls and you can choose two boys three boys and two girls two boys and three girls if you choose then that will spoil the condition of majority that will spoil the condition of majority so the possible cases are going to be these three possible cases are going to be these three. so you can just take these three conditions and proceed forward so out of the five choose any five that will be possible in 5c5 and out of the seven choose zero 5c sorry out of the seven choose zero that is 7c0 and and indicates or otherwise or otherwise or indicates addition out of the five choose any four that will be 5c4 out of the five choose any four that will be 5c4 out of the seven choose any one that will be five seven c one or out of the five choose any three and out of the seven choose any two so total number of possibilities will be equal to this this is how we can select as per the condition majority as boys so remember r can be replaced with addition and can be replaced with multiplication so it is not always mentioned that um, r is addition and and is multiplication this will be replaced with addition this will be replaced with multiplication they won't mention you have to realize that. so if the question is in a class there are five boys and there are seven girls so select any five select any five no boy should be there no boy should be there no boy should be there. Select any five. No boy should be there. So out of the seven, out of the seven, choose all the five. Because no boy should be there means we have to choose the five members from only girls. So it can be done in seven C five. That will be the answer to this one. So whenever you are trying to calculate, do remember these points. N C not is always equal to one. N C one. Is equal to n. N C n is equal to one. N C two is going to be n into n minus one by two. You can use this for the faster calculation. You can use this for the faster calculation. Similarly, for example, you have any question as like this. In a class, in a class, in a class, there are twenty students available. In a class, there are twenty students available. the question here is how many shake hands are possible how many shake hands are possible without a cyclic shake hands how many shake hands with each other is possible so out of 20 students who are available so how many shake hands are possible without cyclic shake hands is the question so to make one shake hand how many people are required so to make one shake hand we need two people we need two people to make one shake hand we need two people. so out of 20 students how many shake hands are possible is a question so out of 20 choose any two that will be possible in 20 c2 20 into 19 divided by 2 190 shake hands are possible so without cyclic shake hands means if this person is giving to him no need of counting the other one so it will be counted as only one so in a classroom 20 students are there how many shake hands are there to make one shake hand minimum of two candidates are there Out of twenty, how many shake hands means twenty C two, choosing two out of twenty. That will be possible in twenty C two. That will be the answer. 
So if you have n numbers, number of seconds will be directly n c2. For example, if the question is given as like this, there is a two-dimensional plane. Uh, in this two-dimensional plane, there are nine non-collinear points. Uh, nine non-collinear. Non-collinear means they are randomly distributed on the plane. So how many straight lines are possible is a question. How many straight lines are possible? To make one straight line, how many points are required, minimum points? So minimum of two points are required to make one straight line. So how many straight lines are possible using nine collinear points, non-collinear points? So you can say answer choice is 9C2. You can say answer choice is 9C2. So mark your answer as going to be 9C2. Similarly, if the question is projected as like this. So there are nine, there are 12 points. Let's assume the question is projected as like this. In a two-dimensional two plane, there are 12 points are available. Out of 12 points, 9 out of 12 points, out of 12 points, 5 points are collinear. 5 points are collinear. 5 points are collinear. How many straight lines are possible is a question. So out of 12 points, 5 points are collinear. How many, how many straight lines are possible is a question. Is a question. So, how can you proceed with the solution out of the 12 points? 5 points are collinear. How many lines? So, using 12 points, how many lines we can make? 12 C. But he said that 5 points are collinear. Collinear, collinear means they lie on the same line. Even these are looking like different lines, all will look like a similar line. So, all the collinear points will look like only one single line. Will be looking like one single line. But we counted more. Out of five, how many lines we can count? We can take five C2. That we have counted extra here that I am removing. But all the collinear points will look like a single line. And such as will be 12 C2 minus 5 C2 plus 1. This is a previous gate question also. This is a previous gate question also. There are 12 points out of which five points are collinear. How many straight lines are possible? 12 C2 minus 5 C2 plus 1. Similarly, if any question which is projected as like this, any question which is projected as like this, there are nine points are available, non-collinear points. The question is how many triangles are possible? How many triangles are possible means to make a triangle, how many points are required to make a triangle? We need three points. So there are nine points are available. Using nine points, choose any three that will give the number of triangles. So answer choice will be nine simply. So overall, what I want to tell you is, in all the questions of combination, we just use the formula of NCR. Choosing or selecting or picking will come under this. So in probability also will come across with the questions, there is a uh, nine balls are available. You have to choose two balls or three balls. If you want to choose three balls, how many ways you can do? Nine So this kind of concepts, you are going to come across with the probability. We'll connect with that in the next session. So 